G'day Aquarius, welcome back to TJ Terror Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. And Happy New Year everyone, yay, it's near. <laughs> Let's hope it's better. <laughs> okay, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Let's hope it's a better one. I don't know if it will be, but yeah. We can hope. We can hope. Okay, it's not getting to that. Alright. Clarify card one in row one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card two, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. And clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. And you got single cards all the way across. Okay, three more for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. What else can you tell us? So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and got lots of wonderful prezzies. Brizzy Brizzies. And yeah, are enjoying and you're enjoying your um holiday break. If you got one. I hope you did. Alright, clarify card one in row two, please. Oh. The card flipped back in again. Clarify card two in row two, please. Oh, getting a few more cards now. Okay, um, what was that one, and then that one, and then that one, and then these ones. Clarify card three, please, in row two. There we go. Let's begin your first reading of 2024, Aquarius. Look at that. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh. Someone new, Aquarius, is checking you out. Oof, the high priestess, but they're keeping it a secret. Haven't said nothing yet. Keep it that. To themselves. Very quiet about it. Ooh. Okay. I can pick up these cards. Come on. Oh no. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Ah. And the page of cups. Words of love. Apologies, immature emotions. <sighs> Dear. Oh, that's no good. Let's say addicted to love messages, sending love messages. Yeah. Oh, reconciliation. Someone in your past is returning to your life. Okay, so you've got a secret new love. I think that's separate. And this codependency to this immature love is this past person. Yeah, look, Nine of Cups. That's their wish to return to you. But it's possibly someone who was a bit selfish. Only about their own emotional fulfilment. Like, this is a good card for a single person. Because you fill your own cups. You can make yourself happy. You're not codependent on someone else to fill your cup. So is that someone who's codependent on you filling their cup? And then there's someone who wants to reconcile from the past. You have three Aquarius. 
a new love that hasn't said anything, someone who's immature and codependent on you, and someone else from the past that's single and wants to come back again. What? Okay. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Okay. With the two of wands. I'm not sure what action to take to do that. That's not this new love. I release negativity, but unsure of the actions to do that. That could be this one. Oh, let's keep going, because I don't... yeah. Or is this all just the same person? Secretly wanting new love with you. Still codependent and immature emotionally. Wishing they could reconcile with you. No one is needing to release negativity but not sure what action to take to do that. Nothing will come of this situation. This could all be the same person. Let's just keep going. We'll see where it leads. Oh, Queen of Wands. Okay. Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, the love of passion just brings a painful ending. It's all just about passion. Two Tens. Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability. Knight of Swords. You have to cut out the things that don't serve you and show actions of truth for that. Oh, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, to have long-term love. And the Empress, something that will grow. See, this is beautiful. This not so much. Nothing will come of this situation if you treat love as passion. If you're just passionate. Yeah, if you just love passion. I mean, the Queen of Wands isn't committed to the King of Wands. She's independent. Very fiery, very hot and sexy, and goes after what she wants, but she's not committed to anyone. And that will just bring a painful ending. So nothing, yeah, nothing will come from it if it's all just for the love of passion. It's just going to end painfully. If you want long-term stability with someone, you've got to cut the crap. Speak the truth, actions of truth. Cut out the things that don't serve you. Then you'll get the long-term love that will grow. Wow. So they think nothing's going to come of this situation because they are, like, still in this passion, still immature emotionally and possibly still just about the passion so they know it's going to pain, end painfully and it's not n nothing's going to come of this it's not going to become all this I don't yeah expect powerful change new moon eclipse can you see that yeah sort of let's move this over a bit there we go Ace of Pentacles, well that's a good start. Nine of Wands, mm -hmm. dropping those defences maybe. And Nine of Cups, finding, there's Nine of Cups again, emotional fulfilment on your own. Got two nines here. Well, this could be, yeah, this could be three separate things, like I said. See, this could be someone, a new, someone new that's keeping quiet about it and thinking they might have to release. Well, not that your negativity, but... Because if you still have someone 
you know, someone from the past and then someone else is codependent. That nothing, they know nothing's going to come of this situation. They know it's not going to grow into anything because they're only in it for the passion. Because they're emotionally immature. So in which case this one might not choose to take any action and just release this, this new love. And this one that wants to reconcile thinks there can be a stable beginning if, yeah, because they haven't given up on this, on you being their wish. Wow, Aquarius, what's going on here? See, yeah, this one doesn't think that this is ever going to turn out to be this wonderful thing that they wanted it to be. It's just going to end painfully because it's just a passionate connection. Addicted to your love. Wow. I'm not sure. You'll know if this is all one person. And if it's three different people, you've got to make a choice here. Can't string them all along, doll. Well, this one wants to reconcile. This one's codependent. And this one's a new love that we don't know much about. But may choose not to act on this at all. So it's up to you. I mean, I would say this one would be a waste of your time because it's they know it's not going to come, nothing's going to come out of this. It's just going to end painfully. There's not going to be all this wonderfulness. Especially if they're not emotionally mature. And the one that wants to reconcile, well, that's up to you whether you go back to someone or not. And this new love, well, we don't know. We don't know about them. If that's the case, if you do have three. Please don't play them all. No, no, you won't. It's not. My watching Aquariuses wouldn't do that. Cross watches, you might have an Aquarius that does that, but yeah, it's... And I hope they're not. So, yeah. But my followers aren't like that. Are you Aquarius? <laughs> no. You probably have this headache of this one and, and then you, the, this one's coming back and you don't even know about this new one. <sighs> All right. What would this love energy or love energies like to say to Aquarius? Land where you may. <coughs> Okay, we got them. We got one that landed over here. We've got one that landed this way. And we got one that landed just in front of me. So there we go. We got three and we got one from each. So this one we have. Can we at least be friends? Oh, wow. They may just choose to be friends or they are a friend. And that could be why they're... um. Not taking action. I'm not sure whether they should take action because if you've got a, a someone from the past and some codependent person hanging around you, they may see that as negative red flags and just decide to stay friends. Ooh. All right. Um, well, this one came out next. The one that wants to reconcile. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, you're their wish. They want to come back. They definitely want to come back again. <sighs> All right, and this codependent one that's, you know, knows nothing's going to come of this but pain, but it's going to come in with all this. I think this is what they're going to try and make out like they want, but they know it's not going to happen. 
You are beautiful. Wow. Yeah. See? Well, we can have this beautiful life together. Oh, you're so beautiful, Aquarius. Which you are. But it's not going anywhere. The ex can't, this ex can't wait to come back. This one codependent on you so is going to make up a beautiful story, but it's not. Nothing's going to. None of that's going to happen. And this new love may just want to be friends and possibly, yeah, just back away. And you'll have no idea that they were in love with you. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to be like, you are going to be close friends or anything like that. I think they'll just be friendly and, and yeah, they won't try and flirt. They won't make any move. You, you'll have no idea that they were interested in you at all. Wow, Aquarius. So there's mm, a new love here. And I don't know what this past love was like, but... There's nothing too bad here showing up, but that's up to you. But this one, hmm, yeah, this one's a waste of time. <sighs> They're just going to waste your time. So, yeah. All right, Aquarius. Ooh, well, that's a doozy, isn't it? Mmm. Good luck with that one. My advice is one of these two. Most likely this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's new. And look, someone from the past, look, no offence to anybody who wants to reconcile, but unless you can reconcile your differences and move forward together, then um, it's not reconciliation, it's not just getting back together and doing the same thing over that you did before that led to a breakup. So, um... Yeah, but this seems nice energy. I'm not getting anything bad from this one. But this one just is trouble. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, either one. All right, well, that's your reading, Aquarius. <laughs> what a way to start the year with a... Yeah... All right, well, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing else to say. Okay, <laughs> I'm blown away by it all. <laughs> all right, well, all the best. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment, that would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. All right, um, all the best. Happy New Year. Take care, and I'll catch you later.